Hey there everyone, Hatayshi here, back again with another video and in this video, I want to talk about the plugins in XT. In case you are aware that Adobe XT has recently opened up the door for developers and now you can develop the plugins for Adobe XD. So I happened to learn the design in the last couple of months quite a lot and uh, I've been putting my design skills almost everywhere. So there are a few plugins which I personally love and the in this video we are not going to be just talking about top fives. Instead of the, I will be talking about few which just miss the mark by an inch and they have a huge potential of becoming an absolutely amazing uh, plugin there. So I have an empty artboard here. So first and foremost, let's create an artboard here. Let's go with this one. And yes, uh, first and foremost, I would like to just put this out of the box that yes, I use UI Faces. In case you are not aware about the plugin, UI Faces is there. Uh, it's a really good plugin that everybody uses. It's hard to really miss. This is the one UI Faces, you can just have it. Now it's pretty simple to use in case you have used it. Like for example, if I would like to have Eclipse, uh, let's use a circle here, a couple of them. So I'm gonna just, uh, uh, remove the border and I'm going to fill it with some color. There we go. That's this. This is okayish color. So I'm going to just uh, clone this couple of times. So I'm just cloning that and there we go. So we have three of them. Now obviously you want to fill them. Let's just say this is a chat application and you want to fill all of them not with the red marks but with the people faces. So you can just select all of them. Uh, go on to plugin. Uh, I know it's not visible at the top bar. Just go on to the plugin and click on the UI faces. The moment you click on the UI faces this is going to appear. It gives you a variety of resources, very flexible, uh, like you can use Unsplash or Pixels, whatever you like, and uh, how many you like. You can even put the range of age, which is pretty, <laughs> really amazing. And you want to fill them all with the females or males, happy, I would love to have a happy. Uh, you can also go for the hair color, I don't want to go that much of the customization, but probably that's your need. So there we go, you click on OK. And there we go, it's filled up. It's really nice and handy instead of just dragging and dropping images. But I do like one more thing here as well. I would like to talk about another plugin which is my favorite. Now just like the UI faces, if you want more control on what images or what kind of things you're filling up, uh, there is one really nice plugin, let me just walk you through, uh, which is content generator, not content generator, it's a photo splash, <laughs> my bad. Photo splash, this is pretty nice, so let me show you how it works. Uh, let's just say you have again these faces and just click on this uh, plugin and go for photo splash. Uh, the reason I love the photo splash, I don't want tutorial, is that you can even search for the things and it's going to give you. Like for example, if I just for search for people and look for find photos, I want three of these boxes being filled up by photos. You can select that what photo you are looking up for. And that is pretty nice. Uh, it doesn't really replace the UI faces because it's very neat and accurate in finding the faces. But here, if you're looking up for this, they can actually find a really nice uh, people, places, whatever you are looking up for. And they all the time give you random results. So it doesn't repeat itself. That's the one beauty I like about it. So uh, once I was searching for it, it resulted in my photo as well, which I, which was clicked by me. I was super happy. So you can just select uh, whatever you like. You can see that I want to have this one and this one and probably this one. And I can just click on apply. And it's going to load up all the images here. And of course, you have all the uh, customization also in case you want to adjust it a little bit. That's also fine. Okay, now let me talk about one thing which uh, was amazing, which can be amazing uh, plugin, but that is like not so much. So for example, let's just say we are going to have a rectangle here, let's just say, and we're going to fill it with some color. So let's go for a little bit shiny. There we go. Now, if I want to adjust the height of this one, like I want to extend that one more pixel, if I just click on my arrow key, it just moves it. It doesn't expand it much. I would love to have a shortcut which through which I can just expand it. As of now, uh, I have to go into the width and I say that I don't want like 343, I want uh, something like 345. So I have to manually say that and then it just expands there. Now this plugin has a huge potential, but uh, this is like something, it missed the mark. Uh, it is adjust size by shortcut. Now it gives you the shortcut of adjusting the things. If you'll click on the plugin, it will give you and will tell you the shortcut. I know the plugin section is not visible on this screen. It's a really big screen. Uh, it just says for shrinking the width and extending the width, you have to use, for shrinking the width, it says control four and extending the width, it says control six. And uh, this is something which I really, I don't like. Like for example, control and six, if I just use six, it just expands the height. But you know, where I think it missed the mark is the shortcuts. Control 4 and Control 6 is something like, 
uh, really hard to remember. I know I'm complaining too much, but also if you'll notice the width one, it is also confusing. It is, uh, if you want to extend into the height, it is control eight. And for extra extending the height, it is control five. So it's all jumbled up numbers. Instead of having these numbers jumbled up, uh, you can give like two number set, like two and three are for shrinking and uh, like shrinking and de-shrinking the height, like reducing the height. So three can be like increasing it, two can be like uh, reducing it. Similarly, just pick two numbers for extending and width wise as well. So I think uh, just having these poor shortcuts, this, this plugin is missing like too much of that. Okay, now another plugin which I thought I would love it, but I didn't like it much. So let me show you that one as well. So let's just say we have a rectangle here and we are picking up some of the modern colors. So let's just go and fill it up with some modern color. Uh, we're gonna go for this kind of a tone, which is purplish. And we're gonna have a short uh, copy of this one. So let's just say we are having a copy of this one and we're gonna go for a little bit pinkish tone. So you want something like a gradient of that. I'm gonna remove the border first and foremost. So what you can do is you can select both of them and click on the plugin and uh, the plugin, actually first let me tell you what the plugin name is. Uh, the plugin name is Color Blender. So uh, this is the one. Let me go into the plugin and color uh, blend colors. And there we go, how many steps you want in between of them. Let's just say you want like whole lot 20 steps. You can click on okay, it gives you all the shades up here but I think I can already do that using uh, color gradients. So I thought it's gonna be pretty cool and amazing. I didn't like it after installing, so uh, I'm not gonna be using it. So uh, there we go. Now let's move on to something, another one. Uh, angle we're gonna talk about in a minute. First and foremost, the calendar, it's like unbeatable. There is nothing, you cannot survive without calendar. Uh, not the blend color, come on. I want to select pl plugin and calendar. So you can just customize the calendar however you like. You can like go for this one or this one, what date, month you want to have it. And it is so amazing to have a calendar of like this. And just trust me, everything is customizable inside it. Uh, you can just select and customize things and everything. But this plugin alone has saved me ton of time while practicing the design stuff. So I think I would recommend all of you to have it. This is like unavoidable. Now let me walk you through with one more plugin which I happen to like it and for that we are gonna need an image. So let's go to my favorite website, Pexel. And we are gonna search for mobile hand. Okay. And hopefully we're gonna get something amazing. So let's just say we are gonna go for this one. This looks pretty nice and uh, in fact, you know, this one is gonna look better. So let's just drag and drop this image here. Okay. So what this plugin do, Angle, this is a remarkable plugin by the way. Now definitely you can have better images compared to me. I'm gonna just search for a pen tool, just click on P. And what we can do is we can mark all of the screen size here. And no matter how skewed it is or whatever the angle it is, it doesn't really bother him. Uh, you can just select all of it. And there we go. And I'm gonna remove the border and instead I'm gonna fill it. Now you can see that I have selected an image. And let's just say I have a markup image here. So uh, very quickly, let me give you a mockup here. Okay, so looks like we don't have a mockup. So let me give you a mockup of my login screen. Okay, there we go. We're gonna just copy this uh, mockup onto my different screen. I was not supposed to tell you it here, but uh, anyways, doesn't really matter. So let me just zoom out. Okay, so what you can do, let's just say this screen is something that you want to apply and see how it is going to look like in a person's hand. So what you can do in this case, just select your region and go on to the plugins and click on this angle and it is going to give you two options, apply mockup or blank mockup. We're gonna go for apply mockup and you can just select all of these options like what artboard you want to go for. I want to go with login one and click on apply and within a few seconds, it's gonna work like a charm. I think the working of this is absolutely beautiful. Notice it has adjusted my artboard in a, in a manner that it, it should look like exactly perfect like this. Now I know this image is not like very perfect. I, sh I could have chosen a better image, a better quality one. But anyways, doesn't matter. You know how this is going to work. So this is like a must have plugin. And you also got the leak of what we are building up. So anyways. So let's go ahead and talk about a couple of more plugins which are pretty amazing. Uh, you know the complex gradient, it's it's not really like worth it even talking about it. The one let's say we are gonna be talking about is the content generator. So let's just say you want to have a few text. It is something which I loved it. We need to clear up this, this part here, okay. 
So let's just say we're gonna have a text and we just say something like lorem ipsum and uh, we want to have an option. Uh, let me just duplicate this two or three times. There we go. So what it does, you can just select this option and select the content generator, go to the plugin and click on content generator. And you can use like whatever the names and it gives you a whole lot of flexibility. Let's just say you are building an app which requires a lot of country name or maybe city name. Just select that and it's so beautiful to have a city name. And luckily we got one from India as well. Hooray! There we go. So this is one of my favorite one. And another one, let me also talk about this. Uh, let me just go up here. So we have talked like almost all of them. But last, uh, second last is going to be the Vizy chart. I don't know how many we have talked. Is anybody keeping a count? No, let's just forget that. Vizy chart is a plugin which you cannot avoid. If you're a designer, you should have it. Even if you're not a designer and use Adobe XD, this is must have. You cannot avoid that part. So let me just get rid of that and just like to talk about Vizy chart. So let's select that. And what kind of chart you would like to have? It just gives you a whole lot of options. Let me tell you the options that it gives me. It has a column chart, line chart, ring chart, like too many. So in the data, you have to fill up the data. Like for example, let's just go for 20. And we are going to go for 10, 20, uh, 40, and 10 as well. I hope that makes it 100. You can also select your diameter that how diameter you want to go like 500 is okay. For the thickness also it goes really nicely. Corner radius we can play it around a little bit like um, I can go for 50 which is going to be awesome. So you can go for all kind of things. You can also show labels and whatever you like to have. Just click on create and how quickly it has created an amazing chart for me with all the details. Now of course everything is customizable so in case you don't like this color uh, just go ahead and change it however you like. And I played with a corner radius quite much like uh, it was pretty, pretty, really, really big corner radius. But definitely you can go ahead and do a lot of fun stuff with this one. And even you can just go like this. But again, I would not recommend that. So let's try it one more time. And this time we're going to play it a little bit more. So we're going to go for plugin, busy chart, ring chart. And let's go. Now this time, instead of the gap, I want a zero gap inside it. So that is going to be absolutely awesome. And again, let's just go for 20, 10, 20. Uh, 40 and 10. So let's see how it goes up. And there we go. This time it's much, much better. Uh, there we go. So this is much, much better as compared to what we have done last time. So there we go. Much better. So definitely you got the point that Visi chart is pretty powerful and you cannot avoid it. Always get a Visi chart. Now I guess we are on to the confetti, the last one. I think we have covered like all of them. Uh, complex gradient, it's not worth it. Content generator, we have already talked about it. Photo slash, we have already talked. So let's go for the confetti one. This is like pretty amazing plugin which you can have, but you have to use it very, very carefully because it is super easy uh, that this plugin can get out of the hand very, very quickly. So I'm going to go and demonstrate that on this mockup. So we're going to just delete that. So let's just say you are presenting this mockup. So this mockup goes onto the artboard. This artboard goes a little bit wider. There we go. So you're presenting this to somebody and you are going up for a darker color. So let's just say you got like something. This is a presentation for us. Okay. And I'm going to go for like first and foremost Eclipse. I'm going to go for this one. I don't need fill. I want a little bit larger border, probably five. And the color is going to be something like pinkish, which stands out. Okay. This is like too big. We're going to go a little bit shorter. Uh, I think that is fine. Okay, now once you have created this shape, and again, trust me, the more crazy shapes you are going to have, this is going to look absolutely awesome in that case. So let's just say we're going to go for just the circle. I'm going to go for plugin and confetti. Just click on that and it gives you a whole lot of options. So how much grid you want to have? Let's just say I want to go for eight by eight and random opacity. Totally, you understand how much opacity you want to go. Random rotation, in this case, it's circle, doesn't really matter. Uh, randomize the scale as well, in case you want to go for minimum 50, maximum 100%, you can do so. The best part is you can also go for customized colors as well, in case you want to go for that. As of now, the color one, only white is being selected, but definitely we can go a whole lot crazier here. So there we go. It's going to just default. So it just creates a random pattern for you. You got the point that how much... Uh, your icons are going to be, that's also is going to look for it. Now, since you have stayed it for long, you might be wondering, hey, why don't you use any uh, plugin for icons as well? Now, let me tell you the reason for that. Uh, let's click on all plugin. There is a plugin uh, which is known as, oops, Icono, 
which you can definitely use for icons. It's pretty like famous in the industry, but I happen to not use it. The reason for that, uh, I do have a plugin uh, or an app known as Icons 8, which is actually paid. Uh, but it helps me to just drag and drop all these things. All these images can be in the SVG. I am a paid member of Icons 8. It helps my workflow. But definitely in case you don't want to spend money into that, uh, Icono is a free plugin which can just do your job. But things eventually just scales up sometimes that you might want to go with the paid stuff. That's why I use Icons 8. Didn't like mention that earlier. Again, uh, this is like list of my top five plugins in case anybody was keeping account how many plugins actually we discussed. I would love to know that in the comment section in case I showed you more than five. That's actually a good thing. So don't forget to mention in the comment section that how many plugins actually we have discussed in this video. I should definitely keep account. That's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.